Now I can imagine a lot of you are coming here and you're expecting me to enjoy this. Have fun with this. Mock him. Make fun of him. And I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. No. I can always not like the son of a bitch and be biased, yet at the same point in time, just give like honest kind of objective thoughts and views about this. Because must say that I am a little surprised, more than a little surprised, that Cody Rhodes would be choosing now to leave AEW and potentially, reportedly, getting ready to head back to WWE. I know we had heard the reports of he was a free agent and that he was working without a contract for AEW, which opens up a whole can of worms that I'll get to in a moment. But I thought maybe they're working or they're just trying to figure something out. Like, I don't believe they're actually... And then they did! They are having him up here on TV and he didn't have a damn contract! Dixie, is that you? Holy hell. And apparently both Cody and Brandy are gone. And, you know, you're going to probably hear reports about different things about what led to this. You know, you saw Cody post about it. You saw Tony Khan post about it on Twitter yesterday. And look, I don't know. We don't know. I find it very hard to believe that it would be purely a money-motivated decision. I do. But there's no question that Cody Rhodes was getting compensated probably, what, a couple million dollars a year for AEW, and then you had the shit with the Go Big Show and, you know, Rhodes to the top and the appearances he was doing and so forth. Like, money certainly wasn't an issue there. He was getting paid certainly very handsomely. Had some form of an authoritative position within the company, although that had been scaled back apparently by Tony Khan. But you're making this money... You don't have to sit there and travel as extensively on the road all the time. You've got these other opportunities that are lined up as a, because of the pathway that AEW helped create for you. It's really odd to sit there and say that he would be leaving strictly for a financial reason. Especially when you're saying he could go to WWE. Maybe they would pay him more than two, three, four million dollars a year. But how long would it be before they just fucking release him and then he doesn't see that money any damn ways? Right? I don't know. This can't just be a money thing. It just can't be. I'm not necessarily here to question Cody Rhodes' decision making or logic because, you know, different people make different choices for different reasons. Now, would I look at it initially and say, you're leaving this job where you're making a couple of million dollars a year where you're close to the top of the pecking order and you're a member of a, a, a figure of authority? Like you're an EVP of the company to go work and be somebody else's low-level, high-paid grunt? That's a decision. And it absolutely is a decision and a damn curious one. You know, it makes me wonder... What's the real driver here? What is the root cause? It cannot just be money. And I don't even think it is. Like, was it he wanted a bigger platform? Was it that he wanted more exposure than what he was getting? Was it that he got to a place in AEW where he didn't feel like Tony Khan was treating him like he deserved? Was it the fact that he thinks that AEW and their fans didn't show him the love and respect that his fucking ego demands? Is it that he resented the fact that he didn't have the creative powers maybe he once did? That he wasn't getting along with the Bucks and Omega and Jericho and so forth like he once did? Like, who knows? Like, it's all of these different things. Was he disagreeing with this? Is he seeing some underlying problems in terms of the operation of the business and seeing a lack of overall growth? Not a, you know, more stagnation than there is a decline, but a stagnation to a certain degree. And he's saying, I don't know if I trust Tony Khan. I don't know if I trust the long-term vision of what's being built here. And I want to go somewhere else where it's safer. I don't know. It would seem odd to me that you would want to leave the current situation that you're in. Especially go to a place like WWE. And who knows what potentially a Vince McMahon may have promised him. You know, maybe he's sitting there and saying... 
He'll come back and he'll give you a big push. And he envisions it like a, a Christian type of push. Or at some point in time, he'll put you in a world title spot, but it's not going to be with the same type of interest as if you were an edge, let's say. Like, maybe he's getting that type of promise. Maybe he's getting the offer of more money. You know, I would certainly imagine he would. Like, why would you leave a job like AEW to go work for WWE and make less money? That's just a poor job of leveraging your position. That's dumb. And I don't think Cody's dumb like that. It would make no sense. You know, maybe he's saying, I want to get into movies and more television. And I feel like WWE with a vastly superior platform size and distribution network could help me achieve that. I get greater connections and greater networking within the movie and television industry. That could certainly make sense. It could be an example of you take a short-term loss in some areas for the potential long-term game. Maybe Cody's looking at it and saying, hey, I don't want to do this wrestling shit much longer. And frankly, I can't fucking blame him there because who in the hell would want to spend 20, 25, 30 years in this carny freak show bullshit? If you want to spend that many years in professional wrestling, there is something seriously wrong with you in the head. God love you, but there is something fundamentally wrong with you in the head. Coming from a wrestling fan that has watched over 30 years, something wrong in my head, something wrong in all of your heads because you even tuned in to YouTube to watch some guy that you've never personally met for the most part talk about something involving professional wrestling. You're not all there in the head either. Like I'm all for wrestlers, guys and gals, looking at the wrestling business and saying, how can I make the most out of it while I'm here? And then using that as a platform, a stepping stone to do some other shit. So that way I'm not a lifer. Like that's what you should be looking at wrestling today as is a diving board or more so of a launching pad to that next step of your career. And that could be beneficial for the wrestling business too. You can go get more athletes. You can go get struggling movie actors and television actors and you can bring them in and teach them how to be performers and increase their profile and get them back out there. It's mutually beneficial for you. Like when you see The Rock is sitting there cutting a promo at the damn Super Bowl. At some point in time, that's going to make people think about the WWE. So I get it from Cody's standpoint if he wants to go and do bigger, better things and he feels that WWE better positions him for that. I would question that. I would say, what planet are you living on? Current state. But, you know, when he sits there and he sees The Rock and he sees Cena and he sees Batista, you could totally believe that Cody China... I mean, John Rhodes, I mean, Cody Cena views himself in that similar same category and thinks that he could be getting those same opportunities. He thinks of himself as a Cena or Batista type, not a fucking Randy Orton type. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And we know that. His ego is that big and that massive. For WWE, why would you bother? I'm assuming it's some type of feather in the cap to be able to say, hey, we signed one of the EVPs. They didn't even make it over two fucking years and they're already trying to get the fuck out. Uh -huh. You could totally see Vince McMahon's petty ass doing that, as I could. And I get it, nice feather in the cap, I guess. But what exactly is this big push with Cody Rhodes going to be? Like, what are you going to do? I mean, I, whatever. But he does what he wants. Like, that's the cool thing about wrestling now, is that if you don't want to be a WWE anymore, there's another option. If you don't want to be an AEW anymore, now you can cross over and go to the other option. Again, I don't know why the fuck you'd want to go to WWE in that shithole, but some do. Different priorities, different sets of you know goals and important things to them. So I understand. But I'll say this. I applaud AEW for taking a pass here. Like you could sit there and say, well, there's problems and da-da-da. You can always overcome that with money. Especially when you talk about that level. Like if Cody was making like three million a year and you said, okay, we'll offer you five. If WWE's offering you four, we'll offer you five. We'll match any price WWE offers you, plus we'll beat it by some. I applaud Tony Khan for fighting the temptation to do that. If somebody doesn't want to fucking be there, they don't have to be there. 
You could take that money that you were investing in Cody Rhodes that frankly, you were nowhere near realizing the ROI that you were probably expecting and requiring for that investment from the Cody Rhodes character, the Cody Rhodes performer. You invested a shit ton into him. What have you really gotten back for it? A fucking mid-card act. Who the fuck pays three plus million dollars a year for a goddamn mid-carder in 21st century 2022 professional wrestling? Who the hell would do that? You could take that three million, that four million, that five million dollars, whatever the fuck you were paying Cody and Brandy combined, and you can invest that in your product. You can invest that in a roster. What would you rather do? Would you rather pay a Cody Rhodes an extra two million a year? Or would you rather sit there and maybe pay you know, 20 talents, an extra $100,000. Personally, that's what I would rather do. I'd rather bump up the pay of others or give 20 people an extra 100000 and pocket the rest and reinvest it elsewhere. Like, hopefully, maybe it's something to do with, there was a little bit of a money factor that Tony Khan wasn't going to meet a certain point or he wasn't going to sit there and give this level of creative control or whatever. And I'll support him on that all fucking day because why would he? I think when you really sit down and you're honest with yourselves, you say, what the hell exactly did Cody Rhodes do to really move the needle? If you were in charge of a wrestling company, would you pay him three to five million dollars a year? No. And if you did, you either have way too much of your parents' money to fucking burn, you entitled nest egg brat, or you're a fucking idiot. The wrestling business is not nearly hot enough to justify paying a mid-carder seven figures, let alone two, three, four, five million dollars. Who does that? So good on AEW, assuming this is all legit, and God only knows whether it's legit or still a fucking work. It's probably legit this time. It sure seems that way. But with wrestling, you always have to go with the qualifier of, well, what if it's a work? Who fucking knows? But... Cody's going to do what he does and good for him. Don't give a fuck. If he's going to go to WWE, put him on Raw so that way I don't have to bother fucking watching him. Even better. That way I can turn on AEW on Wednesday nights and Friday nights and I don't have to see his fucking stupid face, his Homelander ass bullshit. I tune into SmackDown Friday nights, I don't have to see Cody Rhodes' face. Like that is a win-win fucking win for me all the way around. It's a win-win-win for Tony Khan because he's not wasting his time dealing with Cody and Brandy's and you know bullshit on many levels. He doesn't have to deal with that shit. And he doesn't have to pay for somebody that frankly you weren't getting that ROI. Nowhere near it. You were not breaking even on the Cody Rhodes property, if you will. No fucking way. Good fucking riddance if I'm Tony Khan. Good fucking riddance if I'm AEW. Good fucking riddance if I'm AEW fans. And if Cody wants to go somewhere else and he wants to go work with Vince because he thinks Vince is going to sit there and take care of him big time and he thinks he's going to open the door for bigger and better Hollywood and TV things, then fucking good riddance for him for AEW. Sorry. But if he's going to WWE, just put him on Raw. That way I don't have to watch him every week. And as far as I'm concerned, again, that is a win for everybody. But there has to be more to this. There has to be backstage bullshit. There has to be something. Because why would you walk away from what you were making at AEW? Just fundamentally on the surface, that makes no goddamn sense.